Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe and keep watching more details. General Hospital Spoilers, Wednesday, April 17, Cyrus decides Sunny S prison fate Dex S cop snag chase S offer rejected. General Hospital GH Spoilers for Wednesday, April 17, reveals that Harrison Chase Josh Swickard will make Brooklyn Cordomain Amanda Seton a romantic dinner and offer to sign the prenup, but she'll shut down the idea and insist on talking about their family's future. That LL bring a conversation about giving their kids a more normal childhood and keeping all the Cordomain relatives at bay when it comes to spoiling them. While Chase and Brooklyn get on the same page, Hamilton Finn Michael Easton will talk to Alexis Davis Nancy Lee Gran about her appeal and the importance of keeping her sobriety on track. Finn will also reflect on how when you don't think you're worth saving, you don't even try. Gregory Chase S. Gregory Harrison decline will leave Finn with a lot of regrets about the past and only a few months to make up for that lost time. Next on Wednesday SGH episode, Gregory will get Elizabeth Baldwin Rebecca Herbst to open up about all the Jason Morgan Steve Burton drama and how hard everything has been on Jake Weber Hudson West. Gregory will recall some of the troubles he faced with Finn in their relationship and suggest maybe Jake needs this chance to get all his anger out. In Anna Devane S. Fanola Hughes office, Laura Collins Jeannie Francis and Anna Devane Fanola Hughes will agree they've e been standing in the way of justice for too long when it comes to Sonny Corinthos Maurice Bennard. That s why if Cyrus Renault Jeff Kober changes his mind and decides to press charges, Laura will get Anna's reassurance that she'll be ready. Anna will also take a meeting with Detective Bennett Kendrick Cross, who LL think they should perhaps pass on hiring Dex despite the fact that he'd be an asset to the PCPD physically. Detective Bennett will worry that Dex is in this for the wrong reasons and that he could rush into danger with something to prove, so Anna will take that into consideration. After Laura meets up with Cyrus, she'll notice that he seems different. Cyrus will feel less like a phony preacher and more like a man who s learning from his mistakes, so there ll be a noticeable difference in Cyrus' usual vibe. Laura will contend that if she played a role in why Cyrus didn't t press charges against Sonny, then he should reconsider. Cyrus will argue that he s far from blameless and will add that he goaded Sonny with secrets that he knew would cause that reaction. After Cyrus reflects on his long feud with Sonny, he lol admit it disgusts him. Cyrus won't even know what he wanted out of it anymore though he lol suppose it was revenge in the beginning. Laura will find out about Nina Corinthos Cynthia Watros giving Cyrus the radio show slot so he wouldn't press charges, but Cyrus will admit he s done with the show now. That lol leave Laura wondering if Cyrus might press charges against Sonny after all so he lol look to her for guidance. However, Laura will point out that Cyrus has to be the one to decide, so he lol suggest it's an irony that he holds Sonny's fate in his hands the one time he didn't he ask for it. Our predictions hint that there is much more trouble ahead for Sonny, so stick with us for updates on all the turmoil that lol be coming at him from all angles. General Hospital spoilers say Cyrus will go on the record with Anna soon, so stay tuned for news on Sunny's outcome and whether prison could be looming. Title, General Hospital Spoilers, Wednesday, April 17 The Nexus of Destiny Unravels As Port Charles basked in the early morning glow, a palpable tension hung in the air, a foreshadowing of the day's imminent chaos. In the heart of the city, the walls of General Hospital whispered secrets, while fate spun its intricate web, entangling the lives of its inhabitants. Dash dash. Cyrus decides Sonny's prison fate. The morning sun cast a warm glow on Cyrus Renault's face as he stood at the threshold of power, his hands clasped behind his back, his gaze penetrating the distance. With a calculated demeanor, he pondered the fate of Sonny Corinthos, the elusive mob boss whose absence left a void in the criminal underworld. Inside Pentonville Penitentiary, Sonny's stoic facade belied the storm raging within. 
His mind raced with thoughts of escape, of retribution, but fate had other plans. As Cyrus strolled through the prison corridors, his shadow loomed ominously, heralding a decision that would reshape the landscape of Port Charles forever. Dash dash. Dex S. Cop Snag. Meanwhile, Detective Dexter Dex West found himself ensnared in a web of deceit, his allegiance torn between duty and desire. A cryptic message, delivered under the cloak of darkness, threatened to unravel the fragile threads of his double life. Haunted by memories of his checkered past, Dex navigated the treacherous waters of law enforcement, his every move scrutinized by unseen forces. With each step closer to the truth, he risked losing everything he held dear, including the love of a woman whose innocence shone like a beacon in the night. Dash dash. Chase's offer rejected. At General Hospital, Dr. Hamilton Finn's world turned upside down as he grappled with the repercussions of a fateful decision. His brother-in-arms, Detective Harrison Chase, stood at the crossroads of destiny, his heart torn between duty and desire. In a moment of vulnerability, Chase laid bare his soul to Willow Tate, the woman he loved, only to be met with rejection. As the echoes of his shattered dreams reverberated through the corridors of the hospital, he found solace in the arms of an unexpected ally, setting the stage for a collision of hearts and minds. Dash dash. As the day unfolded, the denizens of Port Charles found themselves entangled in a tapestry of intrigue and betrayal, where the line between friend and foe blurred with each passing moment. Amidst the chaos, alliances were forged and broken, destinies intertwined, and the eternal dance of fate continued its relentless march forward. In the hallowed halls of General Hospital, where life and death converged, the stage was set for a showdown of epic proportions where the sins of the past would come back to haunt the present, and the future hung in the balance. As the sun dipped below the horizon, casting long shadows across the cityscape, one thing remained certain in Port Charles, the wheel of fortune never stopped turning, and tomorrow was always another day. The quiet hum of Port Charles seemed to hold its breath as the events of Wednesday, April 17, unfolded. With tensions mounting and alliances shifting like sand, the denizens of General Hospital found themselves on the precipice of fate, each step forward fraught with peril and promise. As the sun rose over the picturesque town, Cyrus Renault, the enigmatic and calculating crime lord, held court in his dimly lit office, surrounded by shadows that seemed to dance to his tune. With a flick of his wrist and a glint in his eye, he made a decision that would reverberate through the halls of power and shake the very foundations of Port Charles itself. Sunny Corinthos, the once indomitable force of the underworld, now found himself at the mercy of Cyrus, his fate hanging in the balance like a pendulum swinging between salvation and damnation. Meanwhile, on the streets of Port Charles, Detective Dexter Dex West grappled with demons of his own. A decorated officer with a penchant for bending the rules, Dex found himself ensnared in a web of deceit and betrayal, his loyalty torn between duty and desire. As he navigated the murky waters of corruption and compromise, Dex stumbled upon a revelation that threatened to unravel everything he held dear. With sweat beating on his brow and adrenaline coursing through his veins, Dex faced a choice that would define not only his career but his very soul. Back at General Hospital, Dr. Hamilton Finn, the brilliant yet brooding physician, found himself grappling with a dilemma of a different sort. As he stood at the bedside of his comatose fiancée, Anna Devane, Finn's heart ached with a longing so profound it threatened to consume him whole. With each passing moment, he prayed for a miracle, a glimmer of hope to pierce the darkness that shrouded Anna's unconscious form. Yet. As the hours stretched into days, Finn was forced to confront the harsh reality that some wounds may never heal, no matter how desperately we wish them to.